Hello everyone and welcome back to TK Resells. Uh, today is Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, so Black Friday, what they call it. And uh, I skipped sourcing on Thursday because it was a holiday. I, I, I want to spend time at home. I want to eat turkey. I want to watch football and, you know, I want to do that kind of thing. So I skipped sourcing yesterday and I noticed uh, there was one estate sale in the area. So I was looking through the pictures and something caught my eye and it was three bobbleheads. It was uh, Kansas City Royals ketchup, mustard and relish bobbleheads still in the package. And that was my goal of going there. So I go there and uh, it opened at 10 and I got there about 1130 ish kind of in that area. And there was a line to get in because, of course, nobody has work today and or Friday, nobody works. So I uh, waited for a little bit and finally got in. And I looked for the bobbleheads all throughout the house and they were gone. So somebody in the first hour and a half picked out the bobbleheads. Those are bobbleheads that I look for. They're, they're actually pretty hard to find. And I believe the ketchup one sells for about $90 all by itself. But that was the reason I went. On the other hand, I went to find other cool things, and I happened to find a bunch of cool stuff there, and uh, I spent uh, about 45 bucks of their price on stuff. So I'm going to share with you what I got. It's actually some cool stuff and uh, good profitable items. Uh, the one thing that I do not have out here is a 27-inch uh, a CRT TV with a VHS and DVD player. Uh, I purchased it there and part of this $45 and uh, it's too big to put on eBay. So I am either going to put it up on uh, a local marketplace or sell it to a friend who was looking for a TV like that. So we shall see that is the first item talked about it. It's gone. Don't no longer have it. So this was a big house. They had a lot of rooms, probably 15 rooms and they were all fairly big sized and I happened to go down into the basement and I found a bunch of electronics and tapes and stuff like that. So that was the first thing I grabbed and I put it in my, my bag. So three Scotch uh, BX60 cassettes, all three together will sell on eBay for about 15 bucks. So that, that was pretty nice. And then a, a, an RCA one, just random. Uh, it might sell for five bucks by itself. Who knows? Uh, and then I picked up these TDKs, a four pack, pretty much a four pack. There's four of them there. Uh, a, around, I want to say around 20 bucks for these four. So right in the next room over, uh, there was a table laid out and they had all a bunch of things. And I started seeing these. Sony Walkmans. Sony Walkmans. Look, it still has its instructions. Sony Walkman. Sony Walkman. I'm like, okay, how much How much is the price tag? Well, two bucks. Okay, let me put that in my bag. Walk a little bit farther down. How about a little Sony Walkman? Two dollars, no headphones, but still pretty neat. And then I walk a little bit farther down, and what else do I see? Sony Walkman with the headphones. Two dollars. So I grabbed all three of those, grabbed the headphones, put it in my bag, and kept looking around. In the same room, uh, on the floor, I picked up a little starter fanny pack. And this is a, I believe it's a vintage one. Yeah, 1998 NCAA Women's Final Four, Kansas City, Missouri. Going to Kansas. So, I didn't even look inside it. There might be something inside. Nope, nothing inside. Anyway, here's the price tag. Two bucks. Two dollars. Not too shabby on that end. And then you keep walking. And for some of you, you're a big fan of WWE, WWF. Well, here's two good ones. WWF in your house and WWE Divas Undressed. Uh, this one sells probably about 8 bucks, And this one sells for a little bit more, 15 ish uh, Again, I think they only charged me a dollar for these, but I'm not really sure. And then, like I always tell you guys, I always pick up sealed... Walt Disney uh, VHSs because these actually sell pretty well. This one is probably only like a eight dollar, seven to eight dollars, but I'll bundle it together with four or five other ones, and I'll send it out in a package. So I thought that was cool. 
Now, if any of you watched the previous one, oh, I shaved, by the way. I, I trimmed my beard a little bit. Let me know if you guys like it. Anyway, uh, I found the Betamax player. Uh, not too long ago, and it turns on. I checked it out, and it turns on, and the buttons work, but I didn't have any Betamax tapes. Well, I happened to find two Betamax tapes. I mean, it's I'd never seen Betamax tapes out in the wild before, so just to find them and then have a Betamax player, like, it just upped the price if, if they work. So, uh, again, I think I paid a dollar for these two. But again, I've never found a Betamax out in a while before, so I was kind of happy and excited about that. So then I go upstairs, and it's all the bedrooms. And I got uh, start looking through them, and there's another person in, in it's a big walk-in closet. And uh, I start going through, and I pick out one. So I grab this shirt. It's, you know, nothing's too special and crazy. Orlando, Planet Hollywood. Uh, it's a vintage shirt. Uh, I don't know where the, and again, it, it's pretty cool. And then got another one, nice little Planet Hollywood. Uh, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger version. You can see it on the back. So nothing special, right? Keep going, keep going, keep going. And I find a nice Chief sweatshirt. Uh, Crabble Sportswear Extra Large, pretty cool embroidery. You know, that's nice. And then I get about halfway in and I see this and I'm like, what in the heck? I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Spuds McKenzie Bud Light. Great graphic on the back. Vintage from 1986. Look at that bad boy. So yeah, that was, that was the clothing that I got from, uh, from this. Oh, I got one more. Let me show you one more before I go to the next thing. So I paid up $5, if you want to call that being paid up. But these are 1978 CBS Toys holster and belt from the Lone Ranger. There you go. It's not, I don't think it's leather. It feels more like a heavy plastic. Yeah, it's a plastic. And uh, from 1978 CBS Toys, uh, it's complete. There's no real, like, they're in pretty good shape. So uh, I'm going to get, and I would guess, anywhere between... 30 to 40 bucks. So, yeah, not, not too shabby there. And then I got a couple other things, but let me do something real quick. All right, I'm back. Had to go take care of something real quick. So we did the holster and the gun holsters. And then we got two more items from this uh, estate sale. Uh, like I said, I don't often go to estate sales, but I just happened to go by this one because I wanted the bobbleheads, really. So this is a Sony... CCD FX 525 High 8 recorder, Handycam Video 8 recorder. Uh, I got this for five bucks. It has two different batteries and a charger, and the directions and a strap. Here's the kitty. Here you go, guys. This is the mama kitty. So that was five bucks. Got that one for five. Uh, if everything works and it's you know perfect. It's going to sell for around $75-ish. And then, on top of that, I found a Sharp View Cam. Uh, Hi-Fi Mono, Mono Rural 8 uh, VLE620. Uh, again, I I've already tested this. And uh, everything works. has a bag, uh, two different chargers, two different batteries, uh, a few... Trying to think of what else was in that bag. But it had a bunch of accessories and everything works. And I was pretty cool with that when I got it home. Again, they charged me five bucks for this. And this one will sell for a little bit more, about 85 bucks. Uh, so I was happy with that. So in the bag with this, there was also a little Minolta camera. You know, nothing special about this one. Uh, and this one by itself, I think will sell for about... 20 ish dollars and this one does work i've been playing with it so yeah so that was everything from the estate sale uh, i spent 45 dollars there and the cat wants to be a star so give her her five minutes of fame she's very loving she was just outside in the garage for a few minutes so everything that you saw plus the tv was 45 bucks and uh 
I was happy to pay that. Uh, even though I thought that they would charge me for the cassettes, I was still okay with 45 bucks because I figured uh, the two cameras that I got were worth way more than $45. So uh, I think we're going to do all right. And I think the Spuds McKenzie is a, a, a real winner there. Yeah, I just like looking at this one. I think it is so cool. So that was that. And about 15 minutes away from there was a saver. So I decided to run to the savers and grab stuff as well. Uh, let's see. I've got one, two, a bunch of items. I don't even know how much there were. And uh, for, I spent 27 and 43. Was that 70 bucks? I sent 70 bucks on this big pile of items. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Interesting things. Not everything is uh, new or perfect, but uh, some pretty good stuff. Let's get right onto it. Uh, I just piled them all up, so the clothes are going to be the first half and then uh, other stuff on the bottom. So let's get through these clothes real quick. How about a vintage grandma sweatshirt? Pretty cool. Uh, $4.49. Some of these items I had a 20% off coupon and some of them I didn't. So I just... I spent 70 total. So here's a Texas Longhorns t-shirt starter. Certain brands sell better than others. And uh, this one I was surprised at. I didn't really know what it was, five bucks. Uh, this is actually a vintage, very sought after sweatshirt. Uh, Guess Bears. It has a little bit of like staining on the bottom, but this one should sell for about $75, believe it or not. So again, I was happy with that. Uh, this one is different too. I, I, I didn't really know what it was, but I picked it up because it was only five bucks. It's a Nike, red tag Nike for five bucks. Uh, it's a sweatshirt. You can see that pretty well, but it has zippers on the side. So like you pull them all the way down and it becomes a sweatshirt. And it also only had a half a sleeve. So for five bucks, I'm willing to take that gamble. Next up, we have a Umbro jacket. Cool thing about this, you can see the price was $6. It's lined. It's an old vintage lined Umbro. Uh, these things actually sell pretty well. $35, $40 bucks for this one. I kind of like that. Next thing is uh, something that's pretty interesting. I haven't found one of these in a long time. And I actually paid up for it. So we'll see how this one goes. $13 for a Ralph Lauren 100% wool yellow sweatsh sweater. But it has this little RL on it. Most of the other ones don't have it. They have the little polo guy. So this one is either uh, special or more vintage than I realized. So uh, again, it's in pretty good shape. I, I didn't see any holes when I was going over it. So... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much that's going to sell for. But it's going to be a journey and we're going to figure it out. Next up, here's a here's a pretty cool brand, I think. How about a Psycho Bunny? For $3.99. It's just a uh you know a sweater. There's a little logo, Psycho Bunny. Probably 30 bucks for this shirt. Just a nice cool brand. I, I kind of like finding those. I don't find them often enough. Uh and then we have a Adidas Auburn, number two. Anybody know who number two is? I have an idea, but I'm not 100% positive. I think it's Cam Newton. Uh, one more jersey, and then we got some hard good stuff. So this is a Reebok, and then this little tag is CCM1040. Uh, but it's a sewn in cobble check jersey, stitched cobble check. And this one has actually been worn in a game because it has this little this little thing in the bottom back. This is how the pads, you lock the pads in with one of these, or it goes through your belt. It's for fighting. So if you get into a fight and somebody tries to pull this over your head, uh, that little thing stops it. So it's in pretty good shape. A little, There's a little bit of a stain somewhere on the front. I okay, have right here. But it's still in pretty good shape. Uh, about $60 for this thing. Oh, 
so that was all the clothing. Uh, and now we have more hardwood stuff. Uh, let's start off with a sealed Native American VHS. Uh, $2.99. This one should sell for about 40 bucks. So, and it will ship media mail, which is perfect. And then you saw all the Sony Walkman, that stuff that I grabbed, and I happened to come by these at the thrift store, uh, $2.99. And these are a pair of Sonys. These are actually expensive Sonys. Uh, these will sell by themselves for about 50 bucks. If they work, I haven't tested them yet, so we shall see. And then I like picking up uh, horror VHS's and here's Scream 1 and Scream 2 only missing three if I find it it sells I think I sold it for $24 last couple weeks ago so there's that and in the same token here's Critters 4 this one sells for about 15 bucks all by itself so that is definitely a horror movie and the kitty is sitting on the box for the next thing so I'm going to have to move her here kitty say hi Okay, she likes being on my shoulder. So the next thing up is a Baby Mickey nursery monitor. Uh, this one was a little bit expensive, it was $7, but it's sealed, no one's used this before. So there's the little tape tag, there's the little tape tag here. Uh, some of these used have sold for about 30 bucks, so I may ask 60 for this one, so we'll see. And then the final item that I grabbed today was $4.50, and it's a, I don't even know how you say this, false graph, false graph, or four cup set. Uh, this one, I tried to open it and I couldn't open it, so I just left it sealed. I got, I looked in enough to see that there was uh, packaging and everything still in here. I believe that this one is retired and it's no longer being made. So this little piece right here is going to sell for about 75, 80 bucks. So not a bad little find there today. Uh, I was happy with what I found today. Uh, like I said, I think I spent a little bit too much at the estate sale, but I think that uh, things are going to start slowing down and, and shops are going to start closing. So got to have inventory. And this gives me a whole group of stuff that I could sell and flip out. Uh, if you guys want to check out my, uh, eBay store. It's Apollo's Well. Uh, I'll put a link in this one just so you can see and get an idea. And the cat's already made herself at home on, on the jersey. So she's she's loving life right now. That's Willow. She was our rescue kitty. She likes she thinks she's my mom, so I call her mama kitty all the time. She's licking my hand right now. And that's all I had to share with you guys. I don't know how many items it was, but it was a good haul. It was fun to get out today, and uh, I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. And you all found lots of good stuff to sell, or buy and sell, resell, reflip, do all that great stuff. And as always, I like to end these with a, a little message of kindness and compassion. We are all going through difficult times, and we could all use a helping hand. We could all use a, a, a nice gesture from a stranger. So... My challenge to you guys is to do something nice for somebody you don't know. Kill them with kindness. That's all I'm going to say. Kindness and compassion. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And hopefully you guys are doing well. And uh, let me know what you think of this haul uh, down below. Thank you.